Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute star-shaped baby blanket. I made mine 39 inches wide and I'm going to also show you how to make this multicolor border. And I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go set my camera up and we'll get started. Okay, I'm back. Um, you can make your star either just in one solid color or a couple colors, whatever you'd like. I'm going to make um, mine in two colors, pink and purple. And to get, I'm using a size 4 weight and yarn and a size 4 millimeter hook. And to get started, we're going to make a magic circle. For those that don't know how to do that, wrap your yarn around two of your fingers, make an X, take your hook, go under the one on the right, go over the one on the left, and bring it under the one on the right. And grab a hold of it. Now we're going to chain six. And this is going to act as our first double crochet and a chain three. And you can tighten that circle up if you'd like. And we need a total of uh, five of these. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do double crochet, chain three, another double crochet, chain three. That's three there. We need two more. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's five. And now go ahead and tighten up that circle there. And now we're going to come over here. And we're going to slip stitch in the third chain. There's one, two, three. And this is what you should have so far. Now we're going to slip stitch into that first chain three space. Just like that. And we're going to chain three. And then we're going to make another double crochet and one more. So you have a total of three double crochets. We're going to chain two, just like that, and three more, all in that same chain three space. So you should have your chain three, which acts as your first double crochet, two more, a chain three, and three more double crochets. I'm sorry, chain two there. You chain two, not three. And now we're going to skip over to the next chain three space. And we're gonna do three more double crochets. We're going to chain two and three more double crochets in that same chain three space. And you're going to do this until you have a total of five. You're going to, um, and I'll meet you at the end of the circle. And so you should have all five of these chain three spaces filled in with three double crochets, a chain two, and three more double crochets. And I'll meet you at the end of the circle. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna slip stitch in that top chain three there, just like that. Now we're gonna start row three. We're going to slip stitch into this next double crochet, the very next one. Just like that. Now we're going to chain three. 
And now we're going to do a double crochet in the very next double crochet. Just like that. Now in this chain two space here, we're going to do three double crochets. We're going to chain two and three more double crochets. In the first row we did oh, three chains. And from now on though, um, we're just gonna do two chains in between. So there's two. My yarn is kind of slippery. Okay, so now we've got three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets in that same space there. Now we're gonna jump over to this first double crochet Sometimes you might have to move your yarn. It likes to hide. And the first two double crochets, we're gonna do double crochets right on top of those. Just like that. Now we're gonna skip two, one, two. And then that third one, we're gonna do another double crochet. And then the next double crochet on top of it, another double crochet. And now we're at our next chain two space. We're gonna do three double crochets, and this is making your points of your star. There's three, chain two, and in that very same chain two space, you can do three more double crochets. And just continue this to the end of the row. You're going to do after we did our um, corner here, you're going to do a double crochet, another double crochet, skip two, a double crochet, a double crochet, and then you're at your chain two space. So you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And just continue that until you're at the end of your row, and I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm at the end of row three. I've, we're going to skip over the next two here, because we did our um, point in our star here, then we did double crochet on top of the next two double crochets. Now we're gonna skip two, and we're going to slip stitch the very top of that chain three space right there, just like that. And now if you're gonna change colors, you can if you want. I'm gonna change colors right now but you can go ahead and make it in a solid if you'd like. But if you're gonna change, this is, I go ahead and cut your yarn and get your new color. We're go, first we're gonna slip stitch into the next double crochet. We slip stitched into the top of our chain three. We're gonna go right over here and slip stitch into our next double crochet. Um, but before we do the whole slip stitch, we're going to add our yarn. So we put our hook under both those loops. Oh, wow, I was out of focus. Just like that. On top of that double crochet, just like that. Take your new yarn, just like that, and bring it through the slip stitch, just like that. And now, I like to tie mine off. This is gonna be a baby blanket for my granddaughter, so I'm gonna tie it twice. Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to chain three. And in the next three spaces, at the top of the double crochets, we're gonna do a double crochet on each of those. Just like that. So now you should have a total of four. One, two, three, four. That's counting your chain three. And now we're at one of the points here. So we're going to do three double crochets. Just 
chain two, and three more double crochets in that same spot. One more. So you should have a total of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And now and we're going to do four more on top of the double crochets from the previous row. Be sure not to skip that first one. There's one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to skip the next two. One, two, and we're going to go into that third one and do a double crochet. There's one, two, and you should have a total of four double crochets from where you skip the two. You should have four double crochets here. So on the um, one point you'll have three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then you'll have four double crochets, and then you're gonna skip two. Then you're gonna have four more double crochets, and now you're gonna do the second point, which is three double crochets. Chain two, and three more double crochets. And just continue this for the whole round. You're going to do four double crochets, skip two, four more double crochets, and then your point you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And continue that to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm at the end of row four. So we're going to skip two, our very last two stitches, we're going to skip those and jump over here and slip stitch into the top of that chain three space. And so this is what it should look like so far. And so now we're going to start row five. So we just slipped it, stitched into the top of our chain three. We're going to go over here to this double crochet and slip stitch into it. Just like that. Now we're going to chain three. And now we're going to do five more double crochets to get to that point. So that would be six total because you're going to count your chain three as a double crochet. So there's four, there's five, and six. Now we're at our first point. We're going to do chain or three double crochets. Now we're going to chain two and three more double crochets in that same point. Just like that. Now you're going to continue the same thing. It's really just like row four, only we're doing six double crochets instead of four. And be careful and not skip over that very first one. And you're going to do five double crochets here. I'll just go ahead and do them with you. There's one. Well, I mean six. There's two. Three. Four. five, and six. And now we're going to skip over the next two. One, two, and now we're going to do our six double crochets and that will take us to the point. And then you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And can continue the same pattern until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm at the end of row five, so I'm going to skip the next two spaces, one, two. 
and I'm going to slip stitch into the very top of that chain three space and I'm going to go over to the next double crochet and this is where I would change my color because I change mine every two rows so I've got my hook on the top of those two loops I'm going to take my new color put it over my hook bring it through just like that tie it and then I'll start row six um, so it's pretty much the same from now on until you get it to the size you want um, we added six double crochets here and you're going to add two on each row so here we're going to be adding eight from here to our point and then from our point down to here and then we're going to skip two I'll start it off for you. I'm going to chain three. And then we're going to double crochet. That's two, three, four, six. Seven and eight. And so now I'm at my point. So I'll do my three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, and then I'll do eight double crochets, and then I'll skip two and just continue that to the end of each row. And after this row, we're adding eight here. Our next row, you're going to be adding 10, and the next row, you're going to be adding 12, and so on. Each time, you will add two more stitches. And um, I'm going to do the border in a part two to this video. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and um, so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you in part two so I can show you how to make the border. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.